Hello seekers, welcome to Police Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. Surya, the Atma Karaka, natural Atma Karaka, the ruler of Leo zodiac sign. Uh, the ruler of the fifth house will move in the natural tenth house, the Capricorn, which we also call Makar Sankranti. Now, Makar Sankranti is a very, very important day. It's celebrated as a, a day where the sun becomes Uttarayan. That means it is celebrated as a major shift in climate, major shift in our potential. And for the next six months, uh, the sun being the source of energy and life for all of us will radiate its power and will radiate its, its aura on all of us. And we can utilize through yoga, we can utilize this energy and develop into a person of higher energy. Uh, sun in Capricorn means it is sixth from Leo. And what it means is that it is where the sun will execute the core duty and responsibility of its own self being a king it is there in the battlefield it is there to expand the kingdom it is there to work for the kingdom and therefore you should pray to Bhagwan Prabhu Shri Ram and uh, you should simply chant Hare Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare also reading Sundarkand doing Sundarkand part in your home will be an auspicious activity for everyone and uh, this really is the time when you can take charge of your life and show reach your true and maximum potential do a lot of things it is a highly productive transit so let's make this a transit that we will remember for our lifetime we will discuss that all in details for ascendant wise analysis just watch this video till the end and you will get to know more details about your ascendant if you just want to know brief takeaways of in a layman language the link of my Sadgamaya channel is given in the description box below you can watch that video after you watch this video you can watch this video both from your ascendant and from from your moon sign for consultations you can drop me an email the email id is in the description box below for reels and other interesting stuff and other social media platforms you can stay connected with me uh, all the links are in the description box and do not forget to subscribe share the video put your comments in the comment box your suggestions are extremely valuable let's start ascendant wise analysis Aries Ascendant. Now in case of Aries Ascendant, the ruler of the 5th goes in the 10th. It's an exceptionally powerful position. Sun gains uh, the, the strength here. And also uh, Mars becomes free from combustion, which is by, by the way your Ascendant Lord. So suddenly this becomes a very powerful position, although Sun will be hemmed between Saturn and Mars. But if you follow the path of discipline, you will see success will come your way. You will get recognition in business, in your career and uh, you will see a chance of promotion or at least some appreciation coming your way uh, although you will, you will have to also respect the boundaries respect the limitations of your workplace of your own uh, designation you have to respect the power and authority also uh, in partnership business i will say that uh, you will you will do great uh, fifth lord coming in 10th house shows career productivity will increase and you will be able to achieve much more than you have anticipated uh, any problem related to career, any hurdles in business will go away. At least it will come into limelight so that you will be able to manage it more efficiently. Your efficiency will increase, your output will increase, but you will have to manage with the resources that you have at hand. You may not be able to uh, gather more, but with what you have, you can do much more. And that is the beautiful uh, thing about the sun transit in the sign of Capricorn overall. There are a lot of positive developments and uh, people involved in the government job or who are preparing for government services examination will also see great boost in their life. So overall, it's a it's a great transit for Aries Ascendant and Moon Sign people. Taurus Ascendant. Now, in case of Taurus Ascendant, you know, fortune favors the brave. So you will have that bravery, you will be able to take those initiatives, you will be confident in leading it, leading things from the front, which will give you a lot of limelight, it will give you good fortune, a lot of money will come your way, support from father, leaders, people will back you and you will see that you will be far more comfortable in, in, in defining the role that you have been given. So you can act as, a, you know, like, like a like an example so lead by example is the theme for taurus ascendant and moon sign people 
Uh, from the relationship perspective, uh, because fourth house is also your comfort zone, when it goes in the ninth house, you can become a little bit idealistic here, but you need to relax uh, your terms and conditions. Uh, try to be a little bit unconditional here. Uh, you will also defend your faith, uh, anything that you believe in, which is good, but you also need to respect the point of view of your partner. It can be business partner, it can be your colleague, it can be your life partner. Uh, ninth house means you should be you should be visiting temples to gather all that positive vibration. Uh, visit uh, Ganesh temple, chant Ganesh Atharva Shirsh every day, which will fill you with positivity and enthusiasm. Now, fourth house is also your assets. So your assets, which are unproductive, will become more productive. The situation in the family will improve, but avoid any ego related battle or tussle that may contribute to some ego based fight. Uh, although life will give you favorable returns but you should not completely rely on luck rather that you continuously have to ha do hard work saturn st is still in the 10th house saying that is why i use the word fortune favors the brave be brave we take calculated risk but also protect and defend yourself and uh, don't get involved into anything anything that is tamasic gemini now, in case of Gemini, it is your third lord going into the eighth house. Now, third lord is six places away, which means that you will try to interfere in the matters of other people and your interference may cause problems. So beware. Also, there can be issues with respect to your father in law. So respect that territory, respect and uh, talk with a lot of hu lot of humbleness. Uh, this sun will aspect the second house highlighting all the flaws in your financial front in your financial planning see eighth house is about research it's also about all the uncertainties of life so it is good that sun is highlighting what is uncertain what can cause more problems in life and what you can achieve is that you can fill the gaps you can fix the loopholes and make your planning the foolproof one uh, lot of plannings are necessary understanding the constraints understanding financial limitations understanding family limitation family planning understanding the career and point of view of your life partner and business partner is very important when sun will be in the ashtamabhav also 8000 sun can reveal lot of occult based energies so if you are into sadhana if you are into such kind of practice you will see great boost in your life uh, but from the health front you will have to be very careful, especially from the perspective of digestion, from the perspective of you know, eating non-vegetarian food. Try to keep the energy as positive as you can. Take care of your immunity level and uh, overall keep yourself active. Do Surya Namaskar every day if possible and also offer water to the sun. Uh, see, 8000 Surya is not bad. What it means is that you need to face the problems and challenges and fix them as soon as you see them rising. If you wait, then it can convert into bigger problems. Cancer Ascendant. For Karak Lagna, Sun will be in the 7th house and it is your second lord. Which means that you need to be very careful about uh, how you are bringing family life and career into question. Now sometimes it may happen that the issues of the personal front or something that is happening in the family may be dragged in your business or in your career. And sometimes matters between your family members and your life partner can trouble you a lot during this time. Avoid any ego related clashes that can happen in the family and in the business. Try to be more humble and be more polite. Also, you will have to absorb the facts that, has be, that will be stated on your face by other people. Sometimes it may sound insulting, but if you do not react immediately, uh, not always you will see that it is insulting and sometimes it can be a harsh truth so harsh truth will come to you and what this will mean is that you will try hard uh, to to fulfill your dreams and desires but things may fall short also don't be a quitter try to you know focus on your hard work why you started in the first place and finish the task but if you want to quit quit smoking quit drinking quit bad habits and quit tea and coffee uh, overall, the sun placement in the 7th house is good, but you have to understand that 7th house is the evening time when sun sets. 
so this is more about being humble being more polite being more inclusive being a team player and uh, sun will aspect your ascendant that means the information and the influence will come from outside so when you are using digital media when you're talking to someone when you're seeking for guidance make sure that you are seeking it from the right place Leo. Now, in case of Leo Ascendant, Sun rules your Ascendant. It goes in the 6th house. 6th house is about obstacles. But when Sun goes there, it means victory from obstacles. Your identity will increase. It's an Upachai house. People looking for job will find positive directions coming their way from the business front. You will stand to gain because you can win over your competitors. Sun in the 6th house is very good for people who want to, uh, who, who want to start a business. It is very good for entrepreneurs, for startups, and for someone who's preparing for competitive examinations, especially for government related examination, it's an excellent, excellent placement. Uh, also, uh, if you see from the sixth house, we also see some something that can tarnish your image. So that is one area where you will have to be very, very careful. Why? Because if you observe Ketu sits in the second house, that means uh, through your own words, through your own actions, or through your own insecurities, you can create enemies and then you will have to fight those enemies or you may have to maybe apologize and you know make some cordial relations so don't do that be very watchful of your words uh, from the health perspective you may have to you know prepare for some health issues and work on that so do yoga pranayam be more active and focus on immunity eat right and sleep right because sleeping can be a challenge during this time from the perspective of uh, overall disagreements in life sun in the sixth house means that you may end up being more dominating you may end up talking in a very egoistic manner in certain cases especially if you have a weak sun in your birth chart so don't do that try to be more humble more polite yoga and meditation is the way forward virgo now in case of virgo the 12th house sun is in the fifth house which means expenses will happen because of children because of your health because of your education now not all expenses are bad it is just an expense which can be termed as good or bad depending upon whether you are within your limits or you have crossed your limits so try to be within your limits try not to exercise uh, ego based expenses you know when you when you become very fancy the saturn which is sitting second from the surya in the sign of uh, aquarius will restrict your uh, you can say your adventures and then you can feel that your life is not going in the right direction uh, from the perspective of business this is a great time but again 12th house lord coming in the fifth house means uh, you can recover your losses but it may not go into high profits especially for people who are into speculative business who are into stock market this will affect your life much more also uh, someone who is an innovator someone who is working into uh, you know scientific community someone who is into tech uh, especially optical tech someone who is into energy sector will see great boost during this time but do not argue with people of high authority people in government because that can create some trouble some some difficulties also from the romantic side in the relationship front sun in the fifth house uh, can make you quite obsessive it can make you uh, be more uh, rude or i will say more stubborn in nature because of the kingly attitude of the surya my way or highway attitude can come into picture which can result into some breakups observe that venus is also crossing gandanta at the same time sun crosses into capricorn that means relationship wise you need to be much more careful libra now in case of libra your 11th lord is in fourth house now this may seem to be a positive placement but try to understand for surya fourth house means midnight that means in spite of all your hard work you may not be able to please yourself you may feel very lethargic tired you may feel unhappy you may feel dissatisfied especially uh, with your life partner with with the way you uh, are in in your in your in your home in your comfort zone what sun in the fourth house will do is it will highlight all the flaws but it may be that your partner is highlighting your flaws and you are unable to accept it you need to give more time in your family you need to give more time at your home and you need to be 
cordial in your relationship with people around you however people with uh, government real estate sector will see great boost someone who want a tender who want to work into politics someone who want to work in the government sector for you it's a thumbs up uh, overall it's it's a average time be more than better than average but you have to understand that there will be unfulfilled expectation also when you're trying to commit something to someone no in and out of that because the person whom you are trusting about the help that you might get that person may not be available at the time of need so you will be all by yourself this can give you a little bit of isolation even in your own home and there can be conflict or fight with your fathers just you need to be very careful how you are executing your uh, work especially for students i will say quit your relaxed behavior don't play games focus more on studies during this time the more hard working you are the better your life will be because uh, ketu is in the 12th house rahu is in the 6th and when sun is in the 4th rahu is in the 6th it is the 5th house that suffers also heartburn acidity gastrointestinal problems can be uh, you know uh, can can rise during this time lifestyle issues can trouble your health be careful Scorpio now in case of Scorpio sun will be in the third house and it is your 10th lord 10th lord coming in the third house means you are taking initiatives some bold initiatives towards your career which is good you will be full of confidence but try to avoid being overconfident see what will happen is that environment at home may make it difficult for you to concentrate on your career but you will have to find a way by where wherein you are respecting your home environment where you are respecting your comfort zone and you are also ready to go out of the comfort zone especially for your health purpose third house sun can also create issues with your siblings with your brother with your cousins so be watchful there uh, but otherwise if you are determined to solve the matter you will be the one who is victorious you will be able to be a leader you will be able to be an engine to the train of your life uh from the from the health front you can as i said you can recover you can use hat yoga as one of the ways uh you will be able to uh you know steer your life with high energy but don't allow communicable disease to hit you and for that respect your body respect your mind focus on your mental health and focus on small small things like food sleep everyday routine uh otherwise i will say that from the relationship perspective or even from financial perspective it is going to be a very good a transit you can travel enjoy while you are traveling travel to religious places sun will be aspecting the 9th house so you can visit jyotirlingas overall for you it's a great transit but just that you may have to do it all by yourself so it is more about self dependency and being more and more independent in life which is good sagittarius Now for Sagittarius sun rules your 9th house and it goes in your 2nd house 2nd house of family 2nd house of finances and when sun goes there being the 9th lord it brings luck and fortune in your family so do some auspicious activity in your home like havan some puja vastu nivaran dosh uh, vastu nivaran puja uh, all that you can do at your home to bring good luck and positive energy you will be filled filled with positive energy and enthusiasm you will get support from your family members but the only thing is that there can be ego related war you might uh, have a point of view your family may have or your father may have another point of view and that can push you into challenge only if you have a weak sun in your birth chart also uh, from the health perspective it is a good time you will correct your food habits you will correct your lifestyle which will in turn help you be more happy in life and you will have this uh, stress going away which will eventually help you recover from any bad health uh overall uh overall it's a very very positive transit wherever ninth lord goes it brings all the good luck but because it is the second house you also need to donate certain amount of money donate money to the welfare of people donate for the for the temples and also visit different temples and uh, and you know distribute prasadam if you also work for community services and if you distribute food it will be really great for you if you want to take bigger financial decisions this may be the right time for you depending upon your birth chart for buying an asset building a property buying an insurance policy it's a really great time for sagittarius it's a very good transit
Capricorn. Now, in case of Capricorn ascendant, Sun will be in your first house. Now, this is your eighth lord coming in the first house, representing major changes coming in all areas of your life. This may mean that you may have to deal with difficult situation, and you may have to be personally involved into lot of situations in life, especially in the matters related to business and marriage. But in in one way, when you take matters in your own hand, when you deal things positively, you will be coming victorious. Also, Jupiter will be in the fourth house aspecting Leo. Now, remember one thing that Jupiter is aspecting Leo, which is actually the abode of Surya. Therefore, this is an auspicious thing. One thing you will have to do is that you will have to wake up early in the morning before sunrise, do Surya Namaskar, and if possible, chant Surya Gayatri Mantra or Aditya Hrde Stotra. and offer water to the sun doing all this will definitely help you recover from any uh, you know any problem especially health related issue uh, people who are involved into health industry who are involved into yoga who are involved into uh, you know anything that is related to wellness will see great boost in their career uh, but from the business perspective this may be a little bit challenging because what it wants is that you need to change your attitude you need to change something about yourself and maybe then you will be able to fit in into a lot of factors of your life uh, overall this is a great transit this is a transit when you will know more about yourself but if you become too rigid too egoistic and if you think that you are the best then situations may become more and more adverse to tell you that you need to shift the way that you think about yourself but if you are flexible and if you if you are ready to grow this transit is there to help you become a better person now for aquarius ascendant sun rules your 7th house and the sun goes in the 12th house now 12th house sun is like king in exile it is not a great position but it is a position where if you want to expand your horizon uh, beyond the usual boundary it's a great time if you want to go abroad if you want to take your business abroad or if you want to invest for export and import great but the moment you will try to extract profit out of your business or from the life of your spouse things are going to be very much negative now this also means that uh, your life partner will have different way of living different way of doing things and there may be some point of view differences but if you handle it maturely if you utilize the power of saturn on the ascendant if you if you handle it in a very silent peaceful manner you are good to go sun from the 12th house will aspect your 6th house that means some of your expenses will be from the medical side uh, if you if you focus on more investment in healthy lifestyle then this sun transit in the 12th house will actually help you let go of disease let go of negative emotions and if you need to consult a therapist or if you want to consult someone who can counsel you positively then this is the right time don't wait rather take that initiative uh, sun transit in the 12th house will also favor students who want to travel abroad and this will also mean that you may have to take help of uh, relatives who are uh, you know distant relatives and uh, someone where your image or your prestige may be may come into question or according to you this is not so good about your self respect so find the right balance there don't immediately judge don't immediately fight uh, but rather try to find the right balance wake up before sunrise and pray to bhagwan ganesh by chanting ganesh atharvashesh pisces ascendant now for pisces ascendant if you see the sun rules the 6th house and 6th lord is 6 places away in the 11th house this is the bhavad bhavam position it's a great position for the sun in the 11th house it it will give you gains your network circle will improve people of higher power people of authority will come in your contact and this will give you great boost you will become more and more productive uh, be it matters of business be it matters related to your job and career your reputation will increase your network circle will grow so overall there is a it's a wish fulfilling transit it's a it's a guiding transit it's a transit that will give you more profits more gains you will also be very happy with the performance uh, of your children the happiness in their life will make you happy and couples who are having problems in childbirth will see some ray of hope but you need to chant suri gayatri mantra every day and also pray to bhagwan mahashiv by chanting om namah shivaya at least 3 malas a day 
Now for Pisces, Jupiter is in the second house and it aspects the sign of Leo, which is in the sixth house. Great for people who want to do startups, who want to uh, find a new source of income, who want to find a job, who wants to seek support from the family and also someone who wants to join the family business. So overall for Pisces, it's, a, an, it's an excellent transit. Rahu being in the first house also talks about innovation. So people involved in technology sector who are into scientific research, who are into pharmaceutical industry, cutting, bleeding edge technology, you will see that something positive will happen in your life and you will be a, a kind of a contributor in the field of scientific community. Overall, it's an excellent transit for Pisces.